Hello everybody, it's Theron. And it's raining. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Um. Oh, lovely. There's a, a tr skeleton horse trap out there. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. There we go. Let's turn around. We don't want to get too close to him. I'm not interested in dealing with that today. I hate the fact that they spawn out in the water. That's annoying. So how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. It's a long weekend, Labor Day, although <laughs> this probably won't get posted for a while. I have a bit of a backlog of video again. And from general fear of running out of content, <laughs> I've been sort of pacing the upload, so I could be uploading a couple times a week, and maybe I will do that again. But today, we'll see. Well, I will see if I even upload this because um, nothing may happen. We will find out. Uh, I am heading north. Go north, young man. The reason I'm heading north is I haven't explored too far up that way. The stronghold is somewhere off over there, so it's sort of northwest. And I've gone up this way as far as um, the jungle goes, and I've kind of sailed around the bay. But I haven't really gone too far into the jungle. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to bring a boat with me, because there's a lot of water in this world. Uh, a lot of oceans so we'll see is that a sheep yes that's a sheep and I didn't want to get into trouble so I didn't didn't bring sir pups a lot with me whoop um, but I have other stuff my goal today is just to explore a little bit and see what we can find if we can come up with uh, ice spike biome would be really nice uh, mushroom biome i haven't seen one of those in this world yet uh this is a four this is a jungle and so traversing the jungle of course can be difficult but i want to try and keep as much as is possible heading in this direction so uh and i have i have a pretty good set of supplies i got food and i've got uh I have my boat let's uh use the water in as much as we can so today was going to be a test of my new audio recorder oh hello i don't really need the jungle wood but i need to be able to get up here so i bought a new audio recorder my old one is i i record audio separate from the video and sync it up later um it's a little I don't, uh, I don't trust the audio. I don't like the audio on my video recorder. Um, it's not very good. It's overly compressed. It sounds horrible. So, don't like doing it. So we, uh, so I got a, I had a, an audio recorder that I used for other things. And so I just started using that. It worked really well. It allows me flexibility. I can record it high quality. No compression. What's going on down there? Flowers. And uh, so, you know, it works. Um, it's a little unusual in terms of setup for recording for YouTube. But hey, that's uh, said it works. So uh, my biggest thing about it was that I don't have an AC adapter for it. So I've been using, you know, batteries. And I was going through just kind of crazy amount of alkaline batteries which is not good and so I started using rechargeables hello mr. zombie please don't call your friends I don't really need your flesh either but you know whatever thanks uh, so I started using rechargeables but you know my experience with the rechargeable batteries has not been super awesome uh, mainly because I, you know, I grew up in the, the 70s and 80s when rechargeable batteries first started showing up. They were largely uh, NICAD batteries, nickel-cadium batteries. 
Um, and, you know, they just generally weren't very great. They weren't very good, but um, they were rechargeable, so you didn't necessarily end up uh, spending as much money as you would if you just kept buying alkaline batteries. They just didn't last very long, and they didn't... Um, Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Uh, they didn't... The, nickel, NICADs don't last very long. Um, and they don't they don't have a good shelf life. So if you, if you have some, you charge them up and you put them in a... You know, like an emergency kit. And then want to be able to run your, your radio, emergency radio off of it. Or flashlight or whatever. They would be dead by the time you needed to use them. So it was always just kind of a pain. But now we have... Uh, multiple rechargeable battery <laughs> hi cow and chicken am i interrupting something i'm sorry no. sorry i'll leave you alone gosh this jungle is big what was that down there another chicken uh so we have multiple rechargeable battery technologies now um for various uh, electronics projects. I like using uh, lithium poly or lithium polymer batteries or lipo, uh, but they're, they're a little tricky and you have to, you have to be careful about how you recharge them and you can't take them on an airplane and there's all kinds of restrictions on them. So they're not commonly used as alkaline battery replacements. Let's go this way. Um, Whoa! Why am I walking through the forest when I can walk around? Hi there, pump. Uh, you're not a pumpkin, you're a watermelon. Okay, let's keep going this way. This would be a lot easier. Walk through the through the savanna, right along the border. So, uh, nickel metal hydride batteries are, in general, higher quality than. Uh, NICADs and they last longer and they're just as easy to charge in fact you can often use the same charger to do both so I I've been using some um, nickel metal hydride batteries hydrate hydride I think it's hydride anyway I've been using I'd been using those and uh, my audio recorder didn't especially like them they were okay but it wasn't uh so when i put in a brand new freshly charged set of batteries it would it would act because it was expecting alkaline batteries i got a desert over here it would act as if the batteries were already partly depleted so i just wouldn't get uh huge runtime uh recording times on the rechargeables but you know whatever i wasn't spending tons of money on alkalines all the time and I just use them and recharge them so uh, so I did a little bit of research and I wanted to start using uh, rechargeables in all my like TV remotes and uh, and whatnot so I did a little research I, I found a battery charger that does a better job of conditioning the batteries Oh, it's just the squid swimming. Okay, we're still heading north, right? Right, facing north, yep. Uh, hey, Mr. Bowser. Oh, my little dog Bowser is visiting me. Oh, we got ocean here. Is this going to go into deep ocean? Yeah, we are in deep ocean. Nice, keep on the lookout. We need, uh, we still need a guardian, uh, an ocean monument that we can turn into a guardian farm. Oh, it's about to, the oh, sun's about to set. So we're gonna be in the boat all night. Oh, so, so I bought a, a, a battery charger and then I did some research onto some batteries and found people recommending Eneloop Pro batteries for high drain, uh, high drain devices. And I figured, well, let's try that in the audio recorder. And guess what? They work really well. Um, the last, like, four or five recording sessions I've done, four, four or five episodes, whatever, 
uh, I've recorded using the Antelope Pros and uh, I just swapped it out because the battery indicator just came down just the first notch and usually in that recorder this recorder when the battery indicator goes down one notch that usually means it's about to completely um, drop like a rock what is this it's just more desert is this an island or is this another continent See if I can sail around it. So, so I've been happy with them. Now they're not exactly what you would call low self-discharge battery. So if you charge them up and put them in a drawer, it's oh, there's mobs on the beach here. Uh, they're not going to. Uh, it's not going to hold its charge especially well. But that's not the point. So Antelope Loop also makes low self-discharge batteries which retain, they say something like 70% of their charge after nine months, which if that's even remotely true, that's really good. So, so I bought a pack of each and I've been, I charged them up and yeah, okay. The battery charger I got is a uh, pretty smart. It, it sort of does a quick discharge on the battery first because with nickel metal hydride batteries, uh, they're not as prone to developing a memory. Okay. So this is just an island. Good. Let's go back and head north. Let's make sure we're heading north. True north would be right about here. Okay. Good. Um, with NICAD batteries, if you charge it, charge it up full, use it halfway and then charge it again and use it halfway and charge it, it'll start to think that that halfway point is is, is empty. And so it develops what's called a, uh, a memory. Oh, look, 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 look. That is a ocean monument. Let's get a screenshot of these coordinates. Okay, so we're 2,500 blocks away from spawn, so this isn't super convenient, but at least it's one. I know I've, I've seen a couple, but, and I'm not in any way prepped right now to take on one of these things, but uh, I, I think I could be soon. I've got decent armor. Ooh. Oh, that noise is so creepy. Uh, I've got decent armor. I can make potions. I've got, I, I can, I can set everything up. I don't have as many slime blocks as I would like for the, for the purpose. I like using slime blocks as my sort of uh, block inside because it is uh, you can you can mine them you can break them even with mining fatigue okay hi mr. keeper so we got a bunch of little islands so anyway rechargeable batteries excite me <laughs> Probably without good reason, but hey. These Antelope Pros, though, if you want a good rechargeable battery that you can use for things that otherwise would only work well with alkaline batteries, I would recommend getting some Antelope Pros. They're pretty good. Oh, well, look, there's another one right here. Uh, get a little closer here. Not super close. And we'll do a screenshot of that. 33. So that's like 500 blocks away from that one. Not bad. Amidst a bunch of islands out in the deep ocean where you would expect. Great. All right. Oh man. Okay, I went a little too close to it. I've got mining fatigue. Oh, that's a little startling. Whew. It'll wear off though, right? It'll wear off in five minutes. But you know what? By the time the sun comes up. Oh, it stopped raining. Oh, starry night. Hello. Are we still traveling north? Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. Good. 
Woohoo. So Hello Squiddies. So we got an island over here. Some flowers up top. Very nice. There's another one right here. Oh my gosh, there's three in a row. Wow. Okay, let's, you know what? I can sail right over this one. I mean, obviously I don't want to get zapped by one of the guardians, but. But a little, oh, you know what? Clear, steer a little clearer, please. But another bout of mining fatigue isn't the worst thing in the world. Hey, buddy. Hi. Bowser's is just sitting at my feet. He likes sitting on my lap. He's a lap dog. Okay. Wow. So we've got three ocean monuments in a row. It's a little ways out, but you know what? I think I might take down one of those and maybe we'll take down all three get some sponges it'll help make clearing them out a little bit easier um, we can go and grab them and get the sponges first before trying to clear out the water because sponges are one of the more ah I hope my driving is not making anyone seasick or car sick Okay, just trying to get up north and whoa, whoa, that was dumb. Okay, we are still heading north, right? Yes. Okay. So, let's see what else. What's that over there? It's nighttime, so that's probably just a mesa, right? Yeah, it looks like mesa ish. It's hard to tell at night. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a mesa. Cool. Um, that's a good size one. I, I could come out here to uh, collect some stained clay. That would be nice. Okay. So I am recording today mostly because I have a little bit of free time. Uh, Chihuahua Power G is off visiting with some friends and I've been wanting a little bit of, of quiet time. I like the friends and they're going to play Cards Against Humanity and they'll have some fun, but I, uh, oh. That was just running rare. That, however, is a village in the Mesa. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at that. 